So originally I had planned that I will shoot uh, the tutorial about uh, lighting and stuff here. Oh, by the way, electricity is back. Uh, but uh, it didn't quite turn out the way I wanted it to be. And I'll, I also know that a couple of days ago I said I'd make uh, changes to my lifestyle that I'm currently going through right now. But that also failed moment. Yeah, that didn't work out very well. But uh, anyways, hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. Yeah, I guess this will be a vlog. So, um, the thing is, if you live in this country called India, this line, nice little Asian country, there is this uh, nice capital city state of it, it's called New Delhi. If you take a closer look at it, you'll find it's pretty close to the cancer. Uh, which means it kind of gets really hot in here. And that isn't usually a problem because we have air conditioners and uh, refrigerators to keep us cool. Except I don't have a refrigerator. Now I could go ahead and buy one. i have been looking for cabin refrigerators for quite some time now, but it isn't as fun as making one. Uh, I've been planning on this build for quite some time and I have uh, most of the tools that I would need lying around. All I need is uh, a heat sink and uh, some thermocol or anything that I can cut easily and insulates wood. Uh, so I'm just heading out to get those stuff. Um, shops should be open by now. It's been uh, more than a month since my last video. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. Uh, yeah, so a little disclaimer about Nehru place or any Indian electronics market for that matter. When you go to buy something there, do not go with just the name of the thing that you're trying to buy. Go with a picture and if you have the actual item that you want to buy because these guys Unless you talk to them in their lingo, they will not understand what you're trying to say. Uh, so anyway, uh, I've been lucky enough to find everything that I needed and it's now time to start putting everything together. Uh, so as you can see here, this is basically what forms the core of the project. So I have this uh, Peltier cooler, it's about 85, 90 watts something. So basically these things when you apply an electric current to them, one side becomes hot and one becomes cool and the cool side is usually the one with its name on. So uh, in theory, if uh, I slam my heat sink on the hot side, cool it with a fan big enough and uh, on the other side, if I put another heat sink and another fan, this should uh, keep the hot side cooler and the cool side more cool because in theory the more you're able to dissipate heat from the hot side the more the cool side can remain cool and then this thing goes into a box from thermocol and uh, it should stay cool it's a lot of what ifs but it's worked for other people there's literally hundreds of videos online about how this thing works and uh, that should be done yeah that's working great so uh, the only problem with these fans is uh, they're supposed to cool things not uh, not kind of dissipate heat so they work in a way that these fans this plugs in inside like this now this is great when you're putting it on a cpu because it takes air in throws air on the cpu and basically keeps the heat sink cooler which in turn keeps the cpu cool what we need to do is uh, instead of cooling this thing down we need to throw out the cold air that's inside there so i need to flip this fan and then slide it in the problem is the threads on this fan aren't exactly fitting in with the screws so i need to find a way to flip this while not breaking everything else inside uh, which is a little bit of a problem but luckily this is the exact same size as uh, my pellet here so this fits in perfectly and about the bigger heatsink when i got this peltier i actually epoxied this heatsink to the peltier and i'm really guilty about that but i have got the right thermal paste this time so that should work yeah i really should have gotten a gorilla pod by this time A few moments later. All right, so sorry about that. My camera died. Um, so the base is ready, and uh, I'm not gonna attach the main electronics on the top. Hot air rises up, and cold air rises down, goes down. So that should technically uh, make it all the more better. Now uh, this is the base, and uh, let me just show you. All right, so this is the roof, 
and this is the Peltier. Now this is the cold side. So technically this goes on top of this and um, I still haven't found a way to mount this fan so I'll just hot glue it and that'll be the apparatus, uh, apparatus that'll go in. Okay, so uh, it's been a couple of hours since I left the heat sink here to dry on and uh, there's a little bit of a problem. So the paste I put in here, it's a thermal grease, not a thermal adhesive, which means there is no mechanical strength to the bond. Now that isn't really problematic when you're mounting it on a CPU, but this thing has to go upside down and has to have a fan sticking to it, which uh, is gonna pull it down. So. I'm still gonna try it with the fan on. Just need to add some extra cabling to the fans and um, rework them, sold some wires, do some circuit work, and uh, then we should be able to rest it out. Test 3, I tried some more repairs on it. It exploded. It kind of had a spark, but it exploded. So this one's dead. I have uh, another one, but this is rated for 12 volts, but for some reason it puts out 20 odd volts. Don't quite understand why, but I'm just thinking I just have to take the risk with it. Uh, all right, so I spent the last night trying to repair all the power supply circuits that I had and none of them worked. So I just went out this morning and bought two separate 12 volt power supplies because I found out that the Peltier was drawing so much power that there was a significant voltage drop and because of that the fans couldn't run. So uh, now I have a separate power supply for the Peltier and a separate power supply for the fans here. So let me just show you. So this 12 volt supply is for the fans. So this goes uh, to the fan inside and then this goes to this voltage converter which boosts it about to 30 volts which is enough for the fan to run this fan starts running at 15 volts technically um, but uh, it runs at a pretty fast speed at 30 volts and if I take it any higher then this drops the input current so the inside fan doesn't work and then uh, uh, there is this power supply it's a 12 volt 2 amp power supply that I have to work with the Peltier so that goes I mounted this fan using these uh, little thermohol beads uh, it just fits sits just above the heatsink i'm not sure if you can see the gap there yep and uh, uh, then here is the inside of the box so as you can see i uh, i actually did quite a lot of work here off the camera uh, in my defense i was just troubleshooting it wasn't supposed to work it automatically started working somehow so, uh, the cabling is a mess um, about the door. So initially I had planned for the door to go like this and then it would slide down and then go back up. But that didn't work out well. So I used my soldering iron and cut these grooves which did not go well on this side. So if you take a look at it from the side, you'll see that it's actually quite jagged. So just filled this up with hot glue uh, to kind of insulate it and then on in the inside all of these sides are insulated by hot glue as well. So for the door uh, literally all I'm gonna do is just, just plug it in there and leave it like that. It should be a good enough seal and uh, since I have no way of actually measuring the temperature inside I'm just gonna leave it running for like 30 minutes or so and then I'm gonna come back and see if it actually um does do any cooling or not so yep uh, it's time to test it okay so i have the thing set up in my kitchen all wired and ready to go um I've put in two bottles one coke from last night and another water bottle probably filled in it uh, wired everything up and now all we need to do is just uh, put in this door and switch it on and see if it does anything. Um, in hindsight, I really should have, uh, I guess, properly 
decided the dimensions of the box because that would have been really really helpful when ensuring that I get a good seal and a good looking box but if it works then we can move on to V2 and add some more cool stuff to it probably add RGB to it definitely add RGB to it so yeah uh, so I've put the lid back in and I've added a generous amount of tape because there is a huge gap in this uh, part of the door especially this one so I'm not adding a lot of tape because I eventually have to open it but uh, this is what is it for now and uh, now it's a moment of truth so first turn on the fans okay everything seems to be working and now we'll just turn on the belt here and there seems to be a problem with the Peltier switch. Come on, just... Yeah, there we go. Uh, it should be working now, I guess, so... Uh, I'm just gonna wait and see how this turns out. Uh, I'll cut away at the rest of the video till the time Alright, so uh, I started playing eye racing and I actually forgot that I had put bottles in there but um, I've got them out and uh, I put another one a sealed bottle in there just as a control experiment so here's the deal this bottle is pretty cool right now there is uh, some condensation on it if you can see and uh, this one is uh, it's cool to the touch but it's still at room temperature so in hindsight it probably won't replace your refrigerator and um, it certainly is not super powerful it's not the most efficient thing in the world there's a lot of work that can be done on the insulation and on the way air circulates around and on power obviously you need to give the Peltier the proper power it needs but for something you can cook up in your room in under a day with not much investment in it it's, it's, it's not pretty good uh, it's not bad uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make a version 2 of it and that should hopefully be better. Uh, another thing from taking, if you're trying to replicate this, try and make a smaller one because you need to adjust your expectations accordingly. It's not going to freeze everything out. It's, it's, it's good enough for, I don't know, a couple of cans or small water bottles or something like that. Something you would keep under your desk or in a tiny space and that's about it. So, yeah. I'll see you in the next one.